Hey, 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 coming in hot today. Literally, I'm standing outside the horse barn and it's hot. It's Cindy. I'm sorry I got missed you guys this morning. I have Bible study on Thursday morning, so I'm still showing up for you, everybody, in a video this afternoon. It's just coming a little late and it's just coming from a horse barn. So if you take a big breath, you might be able to smell some horses. So still out in the trees, my favorite place. All right, so if you're watching this on the YouTubes, so hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification button, please. And I will put all that information that will be found in the video. All right, so I entitled this video, Mama Backtrack. We were at Bible study today and the other moms and I were talking about this subject and I was like, I need to do a video about this. So this is really live prime time and live for you today. It's not what I was going to talk to you about, but it's what I'm going, what I'm supposed to talk to you about. So I titled the video, What the MTHFR. It makes it sound like it's a bad word, so I spelled it like that. It sounds fun. All right, it's a genetic mutation, and I put folate versus folic acid. Here's another thing. I always tell you things that are not known or that don't want to be known. And we talked about this too, about the doctors didn't even know some of these things. So when you're pregnant, the first thing they tell you is you need to take some folic acid supplement because you want to prevent neurotube defects. Well, guess what? If you've had this MTHFR mutation, folic acid is not gonna be the best thing for you, nor may it be the best thing for your baby. So, for example, when I was pregnant and I already knew about this mutation, I had not been tested for this mutation, but now that I've been doing a little bit of research, I was like, I'm pretty sure I have this. Because that's why I react so strongly to medications. Because my body doesn't process them like people commonly do. So, I made sure that I searched high and low to find a supplement that had folate in it, not folic acid. Want to know the simple difference real quick? Folate is mm, natural. It's made by God. Folic acid is a man-made thing. It goes back to my preschool lessons. We always went through things. A tree made by man or made by God. A book made by man or made by God. It was a nice fun little activity to go to and you could go through it as an adult. So folate versus folic acid. When it's made, one is created in a lab and which it should be, it's a synthetic and one is natural or it was a living thing. So that's the difference. Well, we're trying to do our best to prevent neurotube defects, but what happens if we had this mutation and we took this folic acid? Our health is at risk and so is our baby's health is at risk for us not doing the difference. Um, I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. A lot of doctors don't know about this. I was just reading the CDC website and I was like, hmm, I don't even know if you quite understand what these things do because I don't think they know because it used to be a not common genetic mutation and now it seems like it's a lot of people have it and a lot of things different. So like when my friend keeps talking about processing drugs for pregnancy, I was like, I think you're talking to me. I think that's what I had. I think that's what my mom has. That's why we don't we stay away from drugs because our body doesn't process them well. Like it's a teeny tiny bit. When my mom was having surgery, my sister made it crystal clear to the surgeon, give her like the child dose of anesthesia. And they actually, she got it across to them. They did that because I was like, she's not going to be able to come out of it very well if you give her a regular dose. Like we don't do it. And now I know, I think my body doesn't process it like that. So I'm coming on so you know, since I talked to all my pregnant mamas because we're advocating for our unborn babies, the difference between folic acid and folate and the MTHFR gene. And I think I'm gonna go and get myself tested for it so I can see if I have it for sure. And then I'll be able to know if Ellie has it also. So thanks for joining me live from the horse barn. I'll see you guys tomorrow at our regular scheduled time out in the backyard with Dusty Dog in the trees. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.